Today's meditation is on the third word of the seven last words of Jesus. It's taken from John chapter 19, verse 26 through 27. He said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to his disciple, Behold your mother. Mary knew that when she said yes, her fiat to God and gave birth to his only son, that her journey would not be an easy one. Most certainly, she suffered a great deal as she watched her son Jesus be tortured, mocked, and crucified. And again, in the midst of great physical pain, Jesus is thinking of others and not of himself when he speaks the third word. He wants his mother to know that she is going to be taken care of. All right, that she will be in care. As was the social practice of the day, a woman with no husband or son to take care of her is left destitute. From this scene at the foot of the cross, we can make the logical conclusion that St. Joseph has died and that only Mary and Jesus are left. And Jesus on the cross, soon to fulfill God's plan of salvation for humanity. Jesus tells Mary that John, the disciple whom he loved, is now her son. And he tells John that Mary is now his mother. Consider how desperately Jesus may have wanted to touch his mother, to have her comfort him one last time. Bringing John and Mary together was his way of saying goodbye to her. I love you, and knowing that she would be cared for. Even on the cross, suffering and dying, Jesus gives us the example of caring, of caring for one another. Let this be our task this Lent and always to be concerned for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Remember, Jesus did not only give his mother to John, he gave her to us. Let Mary be our guide to Jesus the Christ.